Hiya Plastic People. Sorry for taking so long to get this one done. Uh, I, we were pretty busy and had some friends staying with us, so I only had 10, 20 minutes at a time to work on the printer over the last few weeks, but I was able to get it pretty much done. You can see here, uh, I do have the touch screen on. Touch screen is working. I'll give you a little tour around it uh, here in a minute. I did go with the zero panel mod. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the zero filter, but the, both the zero filter and the zero panel mod are from the same person on GitHub. This one is ready to go though. I just have to figure out if I'm going to pull the bed off to mount it underneath or if I'm going to mount it someplace on the bottom panel to just blow its air, air up. It's just going to be for recirculation. I don't know if I'll even put any carbon in it for the filtration since it will primarily have the panels on. The door is using the Micron hinges, handle, and uh, clips. The only thing I did there was I modified this top clip to have the Salad Fork logo on it. That way I've got the Salad Fork logo on there, the Voron down at the bottom, the Salad Fork on the sides, and I ended up swapping out the uh, Dragonfly hot end for a Revo Voron, and I modified the Revo Voron's uh, afterburner mount, and I did add the Salad Fork logo to it as well. That way I keep the Salad Fork going throughout. Uh, you can see the Salad Fork build plate there. That is from deepfriedhero.in. Uh, DFH had those along with the textured build plate in 160 mil square size. So I bought one of each from him. I just had to have the one with the, the logo. Uh, may not use the smooth sheet as much. I like the textured sheet and I can use it for basically everything. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the temp set here for ABS. Uh, I do plan on printing uh, the Voron Cube just for my serial uh, submission. So with the door on, you can see here these zero panels, they just clip right on and clip, clip off real quick and easy. Uh, I don't have the bottom mounts that he, they used uh, are smaller. And he's got, of course, mounts for the door over here that use the standard uh, V0 door uh, clips. But I went ahead and just used all the same size for my three panels and then the Micron stuff for the door instead. Uh, he did design that for the V0, not for the uh, Salad Fork, but I liked it and I'd rather use it. Uh, I didn't care for the big chunky style of the Salad Fork, uh, and I like that I can snap them on and off quick and easy. I do have my ACM panel back here with the PTFE tube going through, just using the generic uh, old, uh, universal spool holder currently. You got fans here. They're currently jumpered to 12 volt on the motherboard or on the uh, octopus because they were way too loud at 24 volt. I could not stand to sit in the same room with them. Of course, the display on that side and then the blanks on this side in that same color. Uh, move the uh, I gotta home it first, so let's home it. All right, now we can move Y all the way to the front. Let's snap this off of here. nice quick and easy to remove that and then you can see the CAN bus board there everything is connected and working except for the part cooling fan I need to measure voltages coming off of the board uh, to make sure these are I believe 12 or 24 volt fans and I know that the fan header is working 
so because I've plugged other fans in, but I don't remember. I think it was the the hot end cooling fan, which is working, but I think it's a five volt fan. So if that was 24 volt, it would have burnt out that fan. So I have a feeling that it's a lower voltage uh, and I just haven't had time. One thing I don't particularly care for, I don't know if you can see it. The hot end is in screw terminals here, but I don't have any ferrules small enough to fit the wire and to fit in that screw terminal so it is bare wire going into the screw terminal i'm not the biggest fan of that but it's it is what it is it works and that's uh i think that's probably the biggest uh thing right now is that yes it works i do have the three mil foam on all of the panels so it is squishing it pretty decent at the corners you can kind of see the gap here. It does not go into those clips, but uh, it still is working just just fine. So let's home all and we'll switch cameras. All right, so I will get a uh, these links to the zero panels here as well as the zero filter will be in the description so you can uh, access those if you're interested. Uh, so you can see here we're, we're all ready. I'm going to get the camera moved and set up to print out the Voron Design Cube for my serial request. I'm going to put the camera right in front of the printer and let it go. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything about the build, uh, feel free to, to shoot me a message, uh, leave a comment. And uh, I'll try to get back to it as quick as I can. If you see me on Steve's stream or on Nero's stream, you know, ask me a question there if you can. Uh, or hit me up on Discord. I am uh, pushing plastic on Discord, but I am not on there very often. Uh, so you probably have a better chance of reaching me either during one of the streams or if you happen to uh, leave me a comment. I try to check those on at least a weekly basis. Uh, but I'm going to get this set up for the serial request and uh, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully a CAN bus uh, video coming soon. That is the plan. I've got two Raspberry Pi 4s sitting here as well as the CAN bus board and the Big Tree Tech U2C board that you use to go from the Pi to the CAN. Uh, I've got both of them sitting here so we can do that video i just have to get an sd card set up with clipper on it and we'll go through that whole process uh is the plan anyway hopefully sometime this week or next i'll get that uh recorded and posted all right guys have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching